47 Eyewitness News at 5 in high definition. Police say the mother of an eight-year-old girl who was killed by a train in Fresno last night has been charged with felony child endangerment. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. Catherine Hur is off tonight. We begin with an update to that tragic story. Fresno police say that 44-year-old Joy Collins was booked into the Fresno County Jail but has since bailed out. CBS 47's Angelica Lalani joins us live near where that accident happened. Angelica. Well, Ken, police say this is where it all happened. And as you can see, there is a train right behind me. And folks that I spoke with out here say that it's not uncommon for one to come just about every hour. They say that folks cross around these tracks all the time. Now, police say that the mother, Joanna's mother, says that she was afraid of them missing their bus. So they say that she yelled at her daughter to cross underneath the train, which was stopped at the time. And I heard the little girl like, Mom, Mom, no. And then, and then I heard the train start up. And then I told my boyfriend to, to go help because there was a kid under the train. And Neighbors in this area near Belmont and Diana still shaken up after seeing eight-year-old Joanna Harris killed by a train Monday evening. This is awful. This is so terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, and I'll probably never be able to get the images out of my head. Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer says Joanna's mother, 44-year-old Joy Collins, was afraid of missing their bus and told her two children to cross the tracks by climbing underneath the train, which was stopped. Her son made it through, but... The daughter was reluctant uh, at first, uh, but upon in being encouraged by the mother to cross the track, uh, she too made her way uh, underneath the rail car and uh, attempted to get to the other side. Police say the train had only stopped for a period of 12 seconds when it started up again. Police say Joanna was lodged underneath and say the train dragged Joanna for about 500 feet. The mother did uh, run and followed the, the train as it uh, proceeded southbound and at one point the train stopped again and uh, she um, at that point uh, pulled her daughter from underneath the train. Police say after speaking with Collins, they learned this wasn't the first time she and her children had crossed over the train. We arrested the mother for felony child endangerment, um, but also we know that she is hurting. Now, police say that Collins has had prior contact with Child Protective Services in the past, but they did not go into why. Now, they did say that her nine-year-old son is placed with Child Protective Services at this time. And folks around here say that, jo that Joanna's mother was not a bad mom. They say that she had just worked hard to pay off a trip to take them to Legoland for Christmas. For now, reporting live in Fresno, I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.